okay let's start doing the inverter schematic so now we will see how we are going to create an inverter schematic using the cadence tool first we need to run uh, commands shown here that is csh source chrc and uh, we need to enter into the cadence ms lab 614 by entering this command cd that is change directory to the ms lab 614 and after that our virtuous okay virtuous is a command to launch the cadence license so okay after that just minimize it you will get this window so after that go to file I first you need to create a library so go to new library and in the library you have to give your library name it should start with the alphabets and uh, spaces are not allowed so I will give A T E M E C E is my library name click on attach to the existing technology library button so click OK and here you have to select the GPDK 180 it is generic process design kit 180 the technology which you are using so next we need to create a cell view so new cell view under the same library that is ATMR CE is my library so just select this library and the cell name that is the cell view name give your own name cell view okay I am giving as it has INV so after that so now you need to create a schematic of an inverter for that go to create instance browse and select the library gpdk 180 we need a pmos okay just click on it close hide place the pmos here once again go to the create instance so browse we need nmos just type here nmos i'll get this nmos okay no need to change any parameters for this experiment it's not required so that's why i'm not changing any of the length or width of this uh, transistor so next we need a uh, pins for connecting this so for the pin create pin or shortcut p so in this p we need a vdd and uh, vss and v in so we need these three pins as an input so create direction as input so click on hide so vdd vss and v in and go to same create pin and now we create v out o u t and that make the direction as output and place it here so after that click on escape so next we need to join these things according to our uh, schematic diagram or a circuit diagram which we have okay for that click on the wire narrow wire just click here and place click on this yellow box and just place so do this according to the circuit diagram so just short these things okay next click on check and save if there will be any error or the wires are not proper uh, connected properly it will show an error so it's connected properly so we didn't we didn't get any errors here so after that we'll proceed it to the next step that is the making test bench of this inverter schematic so for that just create sorry this go to file new and here once you check it's the same library that belongs to you so after that we need a small we need to change a small modification that is inverter underscore tb so this will be done for our recognition so that it's a tb file that is tested bench file of this inverter schematic click on ok so after that so before you will get this window after creating the schematic one more thing we need to do is just create a symbol of this schematic so that it can be used in the test bench so create cell view from cell view click ok and rearrange the pins as in the 
circuit diagram of uh, the test bench diagram of your inverter so just cut it and paste it it's a bottom pin and VDD is the top pin okay it's okay click on okay and click on check and save and close it so it's enough after that go to the test bench here so in the test bench once again create instance browse go to your library here because the symbol is saved in your library because the schematic is in your library that's why right, okay now we will get the symbol of the inverter and for that we need some sources so for that also create instance go to browse and here we go to the library that is analog library click on analog library and uh, type here the source name vpulse p u l s e vpulse click on the symbol okay place it here so we need to change parameters some parameters of this according to the given constraints so v1 is equal to 0 and v2 is equal to 1.8 so it is our given constraint and the period that is equal to 20 nanoseconds 20 nano 1.8 volts and 20 nano period is a t on and t off time t on plus t off is equal to a period okay click ok the parameters are changed you can observe the next go to create and just type here vdc because it's already in the same library so just type the dc voltage for the vdc uh, a dc voltage for a vdc is 1.8 on high and place it here for rotating this just right click and place it here next we need some ground points for grounding that also create instance go and type g n d ground hide you will get the ground pin here so place it wherever you need after that we need one pin for the output that is v out out, out once again check the direction it's output only so click on hide and place it here after that join these things with a narrow wire create narrow wire let's see the simulation part of this test, test bench so for the simulation launch go to launch and click on ADEL launch ADEL you will get this window and go to analysis choose analysis first here we, we are going to analyze two things there is a transient analysis and a DC analysis so for transient just give 200 nanosecond time so apply it and for DC click on DC click on save DC operating point select component parameter and select component and select the V pulse just double click on this VDC go to the choosing analysis and for DC we need to start and stop voltage of that so 0 to 1.8 volts we are varying the DC voltage so that's why click on apply and ok and after that here is a button called setup outputs or go to the outputs and setup outputs all are the same so it will be easy so click on from schematic just select the input and output pins that click on the run button here run simulation click on this button you will get the transient and DC response of the inverter so this, uh, this is the transient response of the inverter this is the DC response of the inverter so after that so 
close it so in the next video we are going to know the how to create we are going to know how to create a layout of the inverter okay thank you